Hello everyone. Recently someone posted a speedrun of Terraria All Bosses in 3 hours and 15 minutes. And one of the things that the um, speedrunner said was that he couldn't possibly be cheating because he generated his world and created his character on stream. And there were some people asking about that in his stream um, because his luck was insanely good. Um, and I wanted to show that it is definitely possible to cheat even if you generate stuff on the screen uh, on your stream here I'll show you so as you can see well first of all let me delete everything I've got here okay so now I've got no worlds and now I've got no character okay so single player I'll create a new character hit random a few times and then create okay name is whatever there's my there's my um, character and as you can see I've got no worlds he'll even drag the you can see no worlds, right? So I created a world, new small world, world one. And the reason I'm making this video is, is not to. I don't. I don't know if the guy who posted that video was cheating. I mean, his luck was. When I first saw it, I was like, okay, the guy's got to be cheating. There's no way that can be. You could just get randomly that that good luck. Maybe maybe he did just get good luck. I don't know. Um, I'm not making this video to accuse anyone. I'm just making this video to show people that just because okay so there you can see my new world has been created and now I go into it and wow holy shit what is this like I immediately started the game and now I've got to like a look at this I've got an enchanted sword what are the chances of that happening right and holy shit I got another one there's another one and oh no there's like a third one down here what are the chances right aren't I so lucky oh look at this I've got a shark statue that'll take some minutes off of my speedrun oh there's a chest down here what's that got in it I've got a spear I've got some grenades I've got some iron bars I've got 999 swiftness potions I've got a warding aglet and a warding Hermes boots and a warding cloud in a bottle and this is pretty much all the thing well ex except for the 999 swiftness potions this is pretty much all the stuff that this guy in the three hour and fifteen minute um, uh, all bosses run got within the first three and a half minutes of the game he managed to get basically all the best stuff in like three and a half minutes and oh look at this I've got seven heart crystals here just like you know, just sitting. What are the chances of this happening? Well, no, of course this is obviously not random chance. This is a world that I generated previously and then edited with a Terraria world editor. Um, what I did was I used an auto hotkey script so that once my world had been generated, I just hit the the hotkey and it copy and replaced an existing world that I had edited with all this extra stuff in it. Um, it overwriting the world that I had just been generated, and that happened pretty much instantly. All I had to do was hit like one one hotkey, and it was done. Um, and then I just loaded up this world, and then it because Terraria um, just it when you're on the select world screen, it give, it generate it's like when you go to the world select screen, it generates a list of of the world. It goes and it checks the file system, just it shows you a list of everything that's there as a snapshot in time. If the files in there change when in the time between you s um, showing the world selection screen and you actually selecting a world then it will not show that the files have changed it will just show that well it it'll just load whatever is in the in the world file so um, if you just you know copy the file over then um, you can get the modified world so because of this it's cheating in, in Terraria is very trivial. This is not difficult to do. Anyone who has spent any amount of time um, using AutoHotKey or a similar program uh, would easily know how to do this. It's trivial. Um, it's literally a single line of code. My, my AutoHotKey script is literally one line of text um, to do this. And because of this, um, if I stream Terraria in the future, and I would like to be streaming Terraria in the future, um, I will not even bother to um, to show um, characters and worlds created on stream. There's no point. It doesn't do anything to prove that you're not cheating. Um, the only way to avoid cheating in, um, in this game, or in any game really, is to use a client-server model, kind of the way that Valve does with Dota 2, um, where 
your local client doesn't have all the information about the game world. The information, only the information that you, as the player, are supposed to have, is sent to you by the server. Um, and it, I highly doubt that the creators of Terraria are going to implement a client-server model. Um, so because of that, speedrunning in Terraria is always going to be a kind of on the honor system. Um, it, it probably shouldn't be that way, but that's the way it is. Um, so please don't think that just because somebody is creating stuff on their stream that they're not cheating. Also, please don't think that just because someone isn't creating stuff on stream that they are cheating. It really doesn't matter one way or the other. 